Welcome to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about my journey as a crochet designer. I'm just doing a little quick recording now to tie together a load of the vlogging stuff I've taken over the week. So if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back and if you're brand new, hi, hello and welcome. I have loads and loads of videos on my channel so go back and have a look at some of them. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this room. So this is HDDC HQ um, and I have been rearranging it. Um, it's part way done. You can see there's still piles and piles of stuff but everything's sort of in place for now and I've took footage of that. So that might go in this one, might go in a separate one, keep you guessing. No jokes, it just depends on how long. I only want to keep these vlogs to about half an hour. Um, but this week I was tidying up, vlogged that, well, the bit that I've done so far. I've been working on my bag, two bags. This one here, which isn't quite finished, but it's getting there. My clutch bag, it just needs some more fringing and one more. This one, oh my goodness. And this just needs lining. Just needs lining and then that one's also done. Um, this one doesn't have a name. So please, please, please put name suggestions down below. Um, I vlogged again part of, well, what I've tried to do if I've picked up a crochet hook, I've tried to record bits of it to show you so that there's plenty of content to show you because I do pick up my crochet hook quite often, do random little bits, but then there's never quite a finished project. There's partially finished projects. Um, so I'm going to put that in. I'm not sewing the ends in. I am loving that though, but it, it definitely needs lining. So. I've cut the lining out, that needs doing. That bag doesn't have a name, so I'm gonna put all of the vlog stuff in for the unnamed bag. I'm going to pick out the fabric to line this one, bring it back over here, and iron that as well. So, lots of sewing to be done. So let's get this black ironed for that one. Pick out something, something from the stash for that. I'm not sure what yet. When I go through this stash, I'll let you know. And then, I'll get back to you. I've just braided my stash for the fabric for this. Um, and then came across these little bits and pieces that I'd bought and then stashed away and promptly forgot about. So thank you to me who pre-thought about this and I'm glad I found them. Um, this, which I don't think is gonna show up now, is a heart-shaped clasp. So you know when you open a clutch bag and it's got the press stud, like the magnetic snap closure? It's one of those. These are flat feet to put on the bottom of a bag. So, I'm trying to find an example. Say for example, you'd put them on the bottom of that so it stands flat. Um, and then this is some nice satiny, whatever it is, fake satin that I wanted to line the bag with. It's actually really quite thick. That's double. Um, so I'm gonna stick a towel over that. 
try and iron out the creases and that is what I'm going to use to line oh sorry my clutch bag um still don't know what I'm going to line that with the only thing and this is what my yarn stash well this is just the stash that happened um all my fabric was in there the only thing I've got that's big enough is in here and it's the leftover denim from the dress I was making and I was gonna make a top but I really don't want to go and buy anything else um oh damn I think I should just plunge into the denim because it's in stash and then but then will that be too thick if I line it in denim oh the conundrum okay let me have another stash dive and get back to you the denim is too thick but what about if I use this and again I'm going to show my ignorance on materials because I don't know what to call it but it's sparkly and it's kind of like a mesh and is what you'd put up at a window as a modern necklace in. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. Um, I mean, could that work? And if I put it over this and then put my hand under it to lift it up to show you. That looks really nice. And it would be enough just to stop anything major going through. Ooh. It just means I won't put any interfacing in so it won't be massively sturdy. So it will stretch a little bit. Uh, I really want to use stash. Hmm. Unless there's enough of this satin to do both. Let me check. Okay, tribe. I had a little think about it. I had a little tidy up. Cleared this corner a bit. And I've gone with the black satin. I've got some off cuts here, so let me show you. Um... I know it is a manufactured fabric, but it's in my stash and I wanted that sort of plush look. Um, I'm not quite there because this is really cheap and as you can see it's a bit see-through, but something good to practice with, right? Right now I am just sewing the handle onto my bag, so I thought I'd quickly show you what I did. So I pulled the entire side through like this and then I'm going through with a needle and thread and I'm going from this very first row to the row up to the lime green and I am just stitching my way through and you can't even tell and what I've been doing as I go along is I've been straightening it out so I can line it up and then it's very easy to just scrunch it over. So once it's done I will distribute the scrunch properly. Um, but I'm really really pleased with it and as soon as I've got both sides on and I've sewn up part of the side as well so that when it's folded part of this is sewn together and um, I'll be able to make sure I've got the right size lining so now it really feels like it is a bag because the handles are going on so I'm just going to crack on with this I've got Bugsy Malone on my headphones I'm in my own little world Bugsy Malone is, boy, Bugsy Malone is a massive, massive part of my musical life. Oh, don't even get me started. So I've just put his album on and I'm listening from the intro all the way out. I'm in my own little happy place right now. Crocheting Bugsy Malone, yo. Looks so good, doesn't it? I've just put it down, but I'm really pleased with what I've got so far. Um, the lining is going to be black satin, which is down there, I'm not getting up. Um, the handles look really good, I'm really pleased with it. I can see me using this in the day, just chuck a project in there, chuck my EpiPens in, my purse, off we go. Um, and a book. This little number 
det är slet och nummer bara. Is called Stella. Now Nicole, you commented on my last vlog saying that clutch is gonna look Stella and that word stuck. And I looked up the meaning and so this clutch is called Stella. Now I just need to put a bit of fringing on there. I have vlogged this entire process, so I'm gonna interrupt myself here. I'm gonna put in all the vloggy stuff I've got of Stella so you can see it in progress and then I'll cut back to me. Hey tribe, late night check-in. I've got a vlog exporting on the Mac and I've just made some of the centers for my clutch bag. Um, I explained in my Pinnacle Risen vlog part one that I was changing the way I was making my granny squares and to make it quicker, more time effective, I've done all of the first rounds and I literally pulled out a ball from this bag, made a center. I know that I need 20 to finish the design that I'm working on. So there they are. And I also made more of an effort to make sure that the center yarn was wrapped round so there's even less to sew in, weave in at the end. Um, so now I'm just gonna pull out from the big bag of yarn again and add on the second round. I'm then going to darn in those ends before I then just get the black and do one huge continuous join as you go. So, catch you on the other side. Hey tribe, this pile of yarn is the second round on all those centers that I did and also I've sewn in the ends on this panel because I put that panel together differently. Um, so for this panel, I was pulling out each color, making each square and then adding as I went along. And it was just taking too long and I want to get more crochet time done. So for this set, I made all of the centers, I've put all the second rounds on. These ones I've left open, but actually what I've done on these ones is I've finished them off. So I'm gonna close those loops, finish all these off, and I'm gonna sew in the ends. And then once I've sewn the ends in, I'm gonna get my black yarn, which is just here. And I'm going to add those squares onto this for my clutch bag that I'm making. And I'm really enjoying this system. It's so much quicker. I can see exactly what colors I've used. I'm not double picking. And I got those 20 squares done in next to no time. It's a whole new world, it's a whole new world. I've just laid out the squares, so I am really particular and I don't like the colours to be touching each other. I like them to look as if they have been randomly selected and put together. In actual fact, I spent a lot of time picking them so the colours wouldn't touch. So for example, I couldn't put this square next to that one because it's got the same colour in the rounds. Um, that's okay because they're different greens but I still try and space it out a little bit so that it's not a clump of green that I just try to ensure that the colours are evenly spread. So now I've done that, I will sew up the ends in um, and I will add them onto this and then I'll show you the next steps. Hey tribe, I've got yet another vlog podcast doing its magic on my Mac, which is why it's making so much noise. Can you hear that? It's like it's taking off. And I have sewn in the ends on all of these squares. Um, and now I'm about to use the continuous join as you go, which means I start here and I go like this. And this and this and this and then round here and then like that and so on and so forth all the way here so that I won't I, I will only have two ends from all of the black to add to this panel and then that'll be the body of my new clutch bag finito so I'm gonna crack on with that I'm going to, I've got a Patreon post to write. I love writing my Patreon posts. 
So I'm going to do that ready for Sunday morning for it to go out. And then shout out to my Patreons. Whoop, whoop. And then I am going to do all of this. And I think I'm going to watch um, some Netflix. So I'm watching Anne with an E at the moment. Um, which is based on Anne of Green Gables. And I, re I read that book this year I believe. And I absolutely love it. Yeah I did. I read it on my kindle and i also read the next one which i think was anne of avonlea um avonlea sorry so yeah it's a little bit whimsical it's a little bit silly and it's also got some real issues in there um so i'm gonna watch that so let me get this done and then i will show you what we're working with doesn't that glitter just sparkle so nice hmm okay Catch you on the other side. Peace. Hey tribe, just checking in to show you what my setup looks like. So, let's get these out of the way. Little cameo appearance. I've got piles of yarn, whips, more yarn, ends, ends, and then my setup. So that is Promise. This is my latest clutch bag, which I don't have a name for yet. And that's my granddad's blanket. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's a theme in my life of granny squares edged in black. And I love it so much. And then I've been working on a vlog, which you can see there. It's finally just finished. There's a granny square there hanging off my light and that's my spaghetti junction with all of my cables right now. So this is my spot here with this little bolster for my back. Does anybody else get a really bad back when they're crocheting? Because I do. And what I'm doing is I'm sewing these together, or crocheting them together should I say. And the squares are set out here in the order that they need to go on and then they get attached to here so yeah just show you my little setup there's more ends in there um and i'm about to watch the book of life it's the disney film um and it's based on like, the day of the dead in mexico so that's my little setup i've also got I've got to show you my drink, got to go to. In my H is my warm Ribena. So I put the juice or the cordial or whatever you want to call it in there with hot water. And then in the Prosecco glass is my juice, orange juice with bits in. That is how I drink my fruit juice. Fancy, fancy. And that is my grown up drink because my throat's a bit sore. So. Black on black on black granny squares. I'm gonna enjoy my evening. Peace. Hey tribe, so I'm working on the clutch bag, which incidentally I've named by the way, so get ready for the big reveal. But anyway, working on the clutch bag, I am ironing the lining. Why does my iron pee out this murky water? Somebody help me out ironing my lining so that this little amazing clutch bag can get lined. <sighs> I'm so excited for this. And I've opened up this press stud to show you. Oopsie. It's magnetic and it's heart shaped. So that's one side. And then the other side's here. And they snap together. Um, and I'm thinking, because that's going to go on this one, of putting the one side of it under here. Um, I just need to reinforce that area so that when I'm tugging, this doesn't get distorted too much. And I'm also going to line this one with this. Um, I just need to do some thinking because it's going to open like this. I think what I'm going to do, 
I wanted to line just this bit here. So let me zoom up a bit. This is the body of the bag and that's going to be the lid close. It's going to be an envelope fold bag, clutch bag. Um, and I wanted, well, I've got two thoughts. Line the entirety of it or just line this bit that's going to be the body. And I quite like the idea of just lining this bit so you can see the grannies when you open it. But then with the press stood, it's going to need to be lined just to reinforce it. Unless I put a zip there and I don't put the press stud. So, and yeah, I'm going to ponder that a bit more. Um, I'm thinking I could just line this bit and I could also put some interfacing and that would really strengthen it. Um, hmm. Because I don't want the interface showing. So what I've done for the bigger bag, which is there, I've cut two pieces and I'm going to make two pockets and on one of them I'm going to sew it right right sides facing which is in there I can't get it open and then put the interfacing around it and then this I'm going to do right sides facing outward and put that over this one to create two pockets and then that will then go within that and I will then hand sew it to the lining if I wanted to do similar to this, I don't know how I would. I don't. I don't know how I would do it. I do know how I would do it. I think I'm gonna have to get some paper, draw out the logistics, and before I cut into my material. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna sew this one into the bigger bag covering because as I go through the motion it will help me figure out the best way to line this one and then once I've got it figured out I will then cut the pieces for this one I've got that much of this fabric left which is more than enough I'll get at least two pockets out of it if need be um, and then I've got all of this, which I can use to make reinforced sections for the popper stud, if I want. Yeah. Right now, I'm gonna get myself ready for bed because it's near 11 o'clock on a school night, and then have a good ponder over that one. And when I come home tomorrow night, from work Wednesday, hump day. I'm gonna sew these and start hand sewing it into that and give that a ponder. Probably gonna go on YouTube, look at some tutorials about the best way to attach these. And then I will look at some tutorials to line clutch bags. And then I'll come up with something and come back to you on the making of the clutch bags, the saga that is lining. Which isn't even been that bad actually, I'm just making a man's out of a molehill. So on that note, it's bedtime. Peace y'all. Hey tribe, it's now Wednesday and my sewing machine is up. Desperately need to give this a clean. I was thinking to myself that is on my to-do list. But anyway, I have threaded up my machine with some black cotton and I've just done a little test on some scraps. Um, so now I can dive in on the main part and I have been looking forward to doing this since I began my tidy up on Saturday or was it Sunday? Was that Monday? So a little story which you've already heard but just to put it into context. I've been dreading sewing this lining. I have not been looking forward to this. It takes me away from crochet time. Yada yada yada. 
And all of a sudden, when I've got a room to tidy, sewing sounds amazing. Isn't that funny? So my room is half tidied. Um, and now, let's get this little bit sewn up. I'm actually really impressed already with this. Let's see if it will focus. You definitely need the light. Let me stand up. I'm really impressed with the way that looks and it's gonna look great in my bag. Okay, I'm gonna crack on. Okay, tribe, I did not want to pause to be recording, but I really want to show you my progress. So just a quick check-in. I've sewn the ends, the side, sorry, of the clutch. Um, I've done it three rows deep, and I've left the two rows for the flap. And I've created this little pocket to line it. If you can hear the noise outside, next door's getting their driveway done and I've left a window open somewhere. Whew, I'm out of breath. So, I've created this little pocket. This one here has got the interfacing and then this will be the side that you'll see through the granny squares there. And then I've created another pocket to put in it so that you don't see the interfacing when you're using the bag. And then this slips into here. Let me just put it in place and go close that pesky window. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited about this. I've slipped the pocket into place. So what I'm going to do is top stitch the um, two layers together. That one to that one. And then I'm going to hand stitch it to the, line, to the body of the bag rather. Um, and then for this one, I've got two panels, which I've hidden at the back here. So what I thought, what my plan is for this is to, I'm gonna sew the two black bits together and then I'm going to turn it inside, well, the right way around, cause I'm gonna sew this. Let me start that again. Come on, Heather, stop being excited and explain properly. I'm going to sew right side to right side like this around, then I'm going to leave a little gap, turn it the right way round, poke the ends and I'm going to hand sew the tiny little bit but before I sew it up I'm going to put the interfacing in there and then I'm going to hand sew the tiny little edge and then I'm going to stitch all the way around just to secure that in place and then I'm going to sew this panel onto the flap to reinforce the flap. That's my plan. And then that means that I can put the press stud against here, the flap, and it be reinforced. And I'm going to put the other side on here so that it then pokes through this one here. So, my only thinking is is do I put the press stud through the one pocket into here and then put this on top and then you won't see it or do I put them put it so that it goes through all of them so I'm gonna go find one of my store-bought bags and see how that is been made but let's zoom out a bit look I've got a clutch bag um, and because I've put interfacing in, it's actually holding its shape really well. It does creak a bit, but that's because of the material I've used. Look. Okay, right. I'm gonna go find a store-bought bag, check the, the um, clasp bit here and work out if I'm gonna put it in now or afterwards and then sew this bit. I've cut those massively too big and we're really gonna have to cut it down for it to fit. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna crack on. This is a store brought clutch that I'm using and if you look, the clasp stud is hidden in that lining, but then you see it on that side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put it in place before I sew these two together so that it comes through there. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I 
right, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. It's in place. I used a very primitive method and what I did was I put it in the pouch I then used my seam ripper to make one hole here to indicate the centre and then I, this, I put this, sort of hovered it on top and then there's two prongs like this one and I used my seam ripper to make a slit either side, pushed it through then I've put the washer on the back, folded the prongs down and it's now in place which means that I can sew the lining, the linings together. And look, I've got a clasp. So, let's take that off. I have to give it another little press. Um, and then I'm just gonna top stitch these together. Sorry, I'm not showing you anything. Top stitch these together and then I can put it into the bag um, and I'll be hand sewing it later on when I'm out and about but whilst I'm home and I've got the use of the sewing machine my next section is this panel to go on here um, so I'm gonna have to cut that down smaller as I said let me sew that on and then I'll make, work out my measurements and I'll get back to you so I had this in mind, I knew what I wanted to make. I am loving the coloured granny squares with the black in there, the scrap granny squares. Um, and I had some images on Pinterest and I saw the fringing and thought, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And it looks good with the glitter, but I'm not sure that I, that I am a fan of the fringing. I asked my dad and one of my brother's friends, which, I'm not sure it was a good idea to get their feedback. One of them said it looks like Rosie and Jim's hair, and the other one said it looks like dreadlocks or a cartoon character. <laughs> um, but I like big crazy hair, so I'm just gonna leave it now. I'm gonna work with it. It's not quite finished as you can see, but I did sit and sew in the lining by hand. I've just got some ends to finish off. Story of my life. Um but that is now fully lined in the actual clutch part. And then I put the popper on, as you saw. Um, and then I had to really fight to get it through the center of that square. So I think the reason I did it the way I did is because as you saw in the vlog footage, I attached it to the pocket before I sewed the two pockets together so that you wouldn't see that the press stud is here, which then meant I had to take it out of here to sew it together. So there wasn't really a good time to put it in unless I then top stitched the two pockets together but left it attached to this, which I could have done. So what I'm saying is, is I should have put this on through the, out, through the granny squares onto the pocket before I then top stitched the two pockets together possibly would have been more efficient and not mess with my granny square but I am loving it um I decided not to line the lid and what I've done instead is I've added this little bit on of black yarn and I've put the popper stud on there just so that you can't see when it's closed you can't see the um press stood through because it would have it is just here and it would have been showing um i am happy with it but as you can tell i'm not 100 percent the upshot of this is i'm gonna make another version and i know this one's not even finished yet but i'm gonna make another version there's a few things i want to iron out in my head and a couple of variations i've got in mind i think i might make the other one with the fringing at the bottom rather than the sides Maybe I just won't put the fringing. Oh, I've just had the most amazing idea of what I'm gonna put as an embellishment. 
I'm gonna have to write that down before it goes out my head. I'm definitely making another version and I have got the most amazing fringing idea to do now. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm really happy with the lining. It's quite spacey, it will hold a lot. So, I'm gonna get this finished because tonight is date night. I'm getting picked up in about an hour's time. And in that time, I need to go and shower, I need to wash my hair, I need to do all the things that girls need to do. And then I'm gonna wear an all black dress and then this, like, pop, pop, pow, pow, pow. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look amazing? love my granny squares so this is Stella one of two projects I've been working on this week Stella is going to have variations without a doubt um, I'm gonna finish this but you not I'm not gonna see it finished until the following week so make sure you click subscribe make sure you put your notifications on so you know when I've posted and make sure you click like on this video so that I know to keep making more granny square bags. I am going to hurry myself up, do the trim on here, sew in the ends, get myself ready, hopefully get some nice photos of me holding this tonight, like, mm, mm, look at my bag, I made it, um, and have a good date night, offs. And I will catch you next week. Hopefully I will have lined the granny square bag please comment with any names because when Nicole commented and she didn't even mean to name it but when you put the word Stella I was like yeah so please comment on this one um I do want to make a variation of this but but this this is what I'm all about right now so oh damn they look so cool okay I've got to go because I'm thinking I've got to do my eyebrows. I'm looking kind of tired, so I might even put some makeup on for once. I need to find my dress. I think I know where my dress is. Um, I need to pick my heels. I need to put the tassels on that. So comment below. Make sure you click subscribe and like. Um, if you're my Patreons, you get these updates before they hit YouTube, so go check that out. Patreons also get my patterns for free, so you know you know that's a good thing. What do we think, guys? I know it's not 100% finished, but who needs one of these bags for their own date night? Because, yo, I'm on fire. I do like the fringing. It does need a bit more on that side and I'm tempted to put it on the, f the actual closure flap as well. But there's going to be a variation of Stella. So maybe as well, if you've got any consolation, star names, evening sky, anything like that, names, words, put them below for me as well so that I can pick them out, so I can name the family something star related i really like that idea um i don't think i'd do zodiac i like the word zodiac but i don't think i would use the signs but yeah thank you nicole for the name thank you guys for all of the love and support off the last um video it'd been so long since i put anything out and you were all just on it loads of comments loads of views so thank you so much for returning I have got to go guys because I am not going to be ready so thank you for watching like subscribe drop all your names star names words the lot I'm gone I'm gone